My name is Raisha Wright. I'm 42 years old and I'm currently a director at a preschool. I found out I had a health problem when I was in graduate school. I actually was sitting down on my um, on my floor and I just was I was laughing at something that was funny and I just kept feeling pains in my chest and I'm like what's going on here and the pain went on for a couple times and it, it would only happen when I when I would laugh so my now husband at the time said hey you need to go to the doctors to get checked out to see what's going on So I went to the doctors and they found out that I actually had a blood clot in my leg that was caused by uterine fibroids that sat on a main vein that caused this blood clot that was hard and calcified and they didn't know how long it had been there. So if it had not been for my husband prompting me to go to the hospital, I wouldn't have realized or known that something was going on. So I knew I had fibroids because um, I always went to my annual OBGYN appointments. And um, at one of my appointments, I would I told my doctor how I had very painful cycles. I would be in so much pain that I would lay on the floor curled up. I would call my mom like, you just got to come. I just wanted to be close to somebody because the pain was so bad. So I would take a lot of over-the-counter meds and sometimes it would subside and sometimes not. Had very heavy bleeding and I thought it was normal. So when I went to the doctor to explain what was going on, she um, she said, well, do they bother you? And I said, well, no, not really, because everyone I knew had lots of bleeding, painful cycles, you know. And so she was like, OK, so because they're not bothering you, we're not going to bother them. And so there was no action that was taken. And then until later, when I found out that I had the blood clot, that's when they realized, like, like OK, this is life threatening and we need to remove the fibroids. I can remember back as early as elementary school, um, maybe middle school, but my school went up to eighth grade. So it was sometime then when I started experiencing the pain um, that came with my cycles. So very early on, I knew that, you know, something was going on. Like in my head, I knew something was going on. But again, because I, everybody around me had the same symptoms, it was just normal seeing. I found out I had fibroids in my late 20s. Actually, um, I was laying down one day and I just felt a hard rock on the right side of my stomach. And literally my stomach looked like I was pregnant. And I've, I've always been relatively on the smaller side But my stomach was just poking out and it was very hard. And I'm like, what is this? You know, what's going on? And then when I went to the doctor, that's when she said, you have fibroids. I'm like, fibroids? What is that? You know, the first thing I thought was cancer or, you know, something terrible was going to happen to me. And just I was just devastated to, to um devastated to hear the news because I didn't know what fibroids were. I was never educated on fibroids. I had never heard the word before. And so hearing it for the first time from the doctor was quite devastating for me. It wasn't until after my surgery did I learn how many fibroids I actually had. So I was told that I had over 20. And one fibroid alone weighed over seven pounds. Prior to my surgery, I weighed about 140 pounds. And that was another thing. I kept gaining weight. I was gaining weight, but I was very thin everywhere. And I'm like, why am I gaining weight when I'm just super small in my arms and in my legs? So I was about 140 pounds. And once they removed all 21 fibroids, I went down to 128 pounds. So that let me know how many fibroids I had and how much they had weighed. I was actually standing in church one day and I looked down because I my left leg was bothering me. And when I looked down, I saw that it was swollen. 
And I'm like, what's wrong with my leg? So that's when um, I went to the hospital. And when I went to the hospital, they did an x-ray. And on the x-ray, it showed that I had a calcified blood clot that extended from my belly button all the way down to my calf. And it was caused by a uterine fibroid that was resting on a main vein. And they didn't know how long it had been there because, as I said, it was calcified. It was hard. So the doctors were trying to devise a plan to say, okay, should we get rid of the fibroids or should we get rid of the blood clot? And it was just a very scary and emotional moment for me because I didn't know if I was going to lose my life or not. They said if the blood clot were to break off, hit my lungs, it can automatically kill me. So I was just in a really very scary state, but yet prayerful. I'm a believer. And um, so this was just my time and just really having to believe and trust God. I had nothing else at that moment, but to believe God and to trust him for my healing by the way of the doctors. The doctors decided to go in and to remove the blood clot first, which was very successful, which was so good to hear. The doctor, when I woke up, he said, I have good news. I was able to remove the entire blood clot and I didn't have any issues from there. And that was March of 2010. And June of that year is when they actually did um, the surgery. So I had a myomectomy to remove the fibroid. So that happened two months after. And that, I just remember um, recovering from that surgery was very, very difficult. Literally for six weeks, I could not even stand up straight. I was in so much pain. I literally, it was, I was just, I just couldn't stand up. And I would, you know, I think God for my dad at the time, because he just kept encouraging me, you have to walk, you got to get up, you got to move. And the more and more I did, I did that, um, I started to feel better and actually come around. But the healing was, it was brutal. It affected my quality of life because once a month, I knew that I was going to be down for the count. Um, And I just, I didn't look forward to those times. I would just be curled up, crying, praying, singing, just hoping that one day this will all be over. I, I just had this hope that one day somebody will find out what's wrong, give me a cure, and it'll all be done and over with. I had heavy bleeding, but I didn't know it was heavy bleeding. I found out later in life what heavy bleeding actually is. So at the time, what I thought um, was um, heavy was, uh, I thought it was normal, but it was actually heavy. Um, But the pain, just like lots and lots of cramping. The cramping was so bad. It honestly, it felt worse than contractions sometimes. Like I now have three kids and I had contractions and I felt like my pain when I had thyroids was worse than when I contracted with my babies. The bleeding was so heavy. I changed my pets probably every two hours. I only use single pads and, um, but I would use the the thicker maxi pads and those I would need to change about every two hours. I would manage my pain by taking over-the-counter medicine. I took Aleve. I took Motrin. Aleve seemed to work the best. Oh, and Naproxen. My mom was big on Naproxen. And whenever it wouldn't work, she would say, well, try it with some warm tea. And, you know, sometimes the pain would subside for a little bit, but then it would come right back. So I had to constantly take the medicine in order just to feel a little better. And I mean, my cramps were so bad, I would get nauseous. Um, a lot, I experienced a lot of nausea um, on top of it. My periods usually lasted seven days. 
it started as early as elementary school. Once I got into my adult years with working, um, I still experienced, again, some heavy bleeding. And during those times at work, I would just always pack. I was just pack a lot of pads. Like I'm super clean anyway, when it comes to like hygiene and stuff. So I was always big on just having a lot like extra in the car. I had some in the car. I had some in my pocketbook because I just, I just never knew um, how heavy it would be or uh, when it would come. So, and then my cycles would fluctuate sometimes. It would, would come every 20, it got to the point where Instead of coming every 28 days, it started coming every 21 days. And it was just very frequent. I was affected by this condition because it was very emotional for me. Um, Having um, been in pain so often was quite daunting. Um, And having to look to my mom, my fiance at the time, it was, I just, it was difficult for me. Um, like I said, every time it would come around, if we were out just having fun with friends, I, I would, sometimes I, I couldn't go. I couldn't, um, there were times I may have had to stay home from, from school or miss school, not in my elementary years, but when I started getting older and in college, I would just, I would have to take off because I was in so much pain. I just wanted to just lay down. I just wanted to, lay around and just not be bothered and not move. It affected me spiritually because there were times when I felt like I was being punished. Like, oh God, why aren't you looking out for me? Why can't I be normal? Why do I have to go through this pain? Why does it, you know, um, have to affect me in this regard? You know, Everybody around me seems to be fine when they have their cycles or, you know, some people may say get a little cramp here and there, but my pain was just so severe. I I just, I didn't understand why me. I had this uh, myomectomy in 2010 and the doctors told me that I should try to conceive as soon as possible because fibroids come back. My husband and I weren't intending at the time to get pregnant. But we literally got pregnant three months after my surgery. So when I went to the doctors um, for my first sonogram to look at the baby to make sure everything was going well, that's when the sonographer was like, oh, just casually said, oh, you have fibroids. So obviously they were visible (laughs) on the screen. And I did think to myself, well, wait, the doctor told me he removed all of them. Did he really? Or were some left? I didn't know at the time. Like I said, I was just devastated to hear the news. I left and I cried and I cried and I cried. And I I was devastated. And I said, all this money, my surgery was super expensive. The My insurance did not cover it all. It only three months had passed. I was now pregnant with my first child and was told that I had fibroids again. And I was devastated. And I just, I just, I didn't understand. How could this happen when I had the best doctors who told me I removed them all? He said he got every last one of them out and to hear that they had come back. I was done. I delivered my daughter literally a year to the month that I had gotten the myomectomy. And my husband will always say to me, you will not have to get another surgery. He would literally speak that over my life. He said, one and done. I believe you will never have to get another surgery to remove fibroids. So I'm like, okay. You know, I'm kind of like, okay, if you say so. and. One day he said to me, hey, I think I found a program that can help you. And I said, really, what? So he sent me a link that had Coach Jesse and Dr. Amun who were discussing fibroids and what they are, the root cause. 
and basically providing a plan to help you to get rid of them and to live a healthier, balanced lifestyle with the fibroids. So I had my daughter in 2011, July of 2011. And then um, March of 2014, I delivered my second baby, my son. Um, I do not remember much during that time where they said I had fibroids or how big they were. I know I still had them, but there wasn't a lot of focus on them. But I knew I still had them. And because I still had them, that's when I became intentional about what could be done for me to not have them. And then that's when my husband came along and introduced me to um, Coach Jesse, Dr. Amun. Initially, when he told me, I'm like, nah, I don't trust that. Like, I'm kind of like a skeptic. Like, you found this on the internet. Dude, you really want me to take, you know, some supplements. You really want me to listen to these people. How do I know? You know, it's real. That's what And I just, I challenged it. I challenged it. And one day, um, as I've said, I'm very spiritual. So I believe the Lord said to me, you need to revisit what he told you. And I said, okay, what do I have to lose? And so it's been about two years now, because it was maybe about December of 19, 2019, where I said, you know what, I'm just going to go for it because I had one to the doctors again. And I knew one, I had fibroids that had returned. Secondly, I never wanted to experience having another blood clot that could cause me to lose my life. Um, the last blood clot that I had, like I said, it was so bad. It extended from my belly button to my calf. And my bo- the doctor said that my body formed collateral, i.e. new veins, so that the blood flow can continue to get to my heart. So the fact that I was still here after all of that, I knew God had a plan for my life. So I said, I have nothing to lose but everything to gain. So I'm going to move forward. I'm going to listen to my husband because sometimes as women, we think that our husbands don't know what they're talking about, but they do. They do. We need to listen sometimes for real because they know what they're talking about. And so I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. And the amazing thing, I started in January of 2021 and so funny, so true. I looked at my supplements one day. I was in a refrigerator. I opened it up and I said, fertility. I think one of them may have said fertility. And I said, I ain't trying to have no babies. Like, I don't need to take this supplement. Literally, one month later, I got pregnant. I got pregnant. And I said, okay, I'm on this plan, pregnant. What am I supposed to do? Because when you're pregnant, you want to eat what you want to eat. You want to do what you want to do. And the Lord said three words to me, follow the plan. That's all I heard. Follow the plan. And I said, okay. And that's what I did. I followed the plan. I followed the meal plan. I took my supplements. I watched, again, the meal plan, watch what I ate. And rarely did I cheat. Because I'm like, I'm having a baby. I don't got time for nothing to be growing along with my baby. But only one thing needs to grow. And that was my seed. And so during that time, I found out that I had three fibroids. I actually was in the bathroom one day. And this big piece of um, blood, like tissue, like came out. And I got so scared. I was like hyperventilating because I thought I was having a miscarriage. And so I went to the hospital. I saved it, went to the hospital and everything was fine with the baby. And my husband at the time, he was like, how do you know? It's just not a fibroid. How do you know? And I'm like, I don't know. At that point, I believed my husband when he said it probably was a fibroid. 
And then I believe I had, I think I had spoken to coach Jennifer who has said that it was probably me passing tissue. And so I'm like, okay. And that gave me peaks because I'm like, my healing is now beginning and it's happening. And I got excited. So I went from being devastated to being excited because I'm like, okay, this is now happening for me. It's about to go down. Like I'm about to get rid of all these fibroids and I'm going to receive the healing and the miracle that I so long awaited for. But they did find out that I had three fibroids at that time. They were probably about five centimeters, six, seven um, at the time. And I continued, like I said, to listen to those words and follow the plan. And I followed the plan for nine months. I followed the plan through COVID. I followed the plan through quarantine. I followed the plan. I took my supplements. I ate what was right. And because I followed the plan, when I went for my last appointment for them to look at the baby, they do the stress test and make sure everything's going well. I had eliminated a fibroid and two had shrunk because I followed the plan. With the balance kit, I had the coaching program, which I am so happy I got. Again, I'm the type of person that's like, oh, should I, should I? And I said, you know what? This makes sense. I'm going to get it. And I'm telling you, it was the best thing ever because I had coaching. I had Zoom meetings. I had one-on-ones and I had direct access to my coach that throughout the entire process, when I was experiencing things or going through things, I was able to say, hey, this is going on. What is this? Am I allowed to eat this? You know, down to the small things. Is it okay to eat this? Is it okay to have this? And um, it was just, it was just amazing. It was super, super beneficial and highly recommended. My life has improved tremendously working with um, Coach Jesse and Dr. Amun. It literally brings tears to my eyes. So I hope not to cry, but if I do, um, well, like I said, literally saved my life. Um, this program, the coaching, the being accessible, you know, having Dr. Amun and Coach Jesse to be accessible, to walk you through and to help you with the conditions. There was so much I didn't know. And having had been educated on fibroids, the root cause, which no one ever talks about, which we never know, right? No, we don't know because no one talks about it. And how the education piece of it was so liberating for me. It made so much sense. And the meal plans, um, following the meal plans, letting us know what we can eat, what, you know, just talking about estrogen dominance and and what foods are beneficial, what what foods are harmful. And so working with um, Dr. Amun and Coach Jesse has just, it has been a game changer. Um, down, I can even use my mom as an example who was diagnosed with the onset stage of um, diabetes. And she knew I was on this program. And I remember reaching out and like, hey, um, my mom has this going, have this going on. I had literally just lost my dad. I'm like, I can't lose her. <laughs> you know, like we got to get this underway. We need to get going. So um, when it comes to our health, money is not an issue ever because we find money for everything else, right? But when it comes to our health, sometimes we try to act cheap. And for me, I'm like, whatever I have to buy, whatever I have to do, whether it's the coaching package, whether it's buying, spending X amount of dollars on my supplements, I'm going to do it. And so getting back to my mom, she um, did a consult with um, a medical consult with Dr. Amun and he walked her through. She followed the plan, listened to what he said. And within a month, her num- her numbers were back to almost normal. 
And that for me meant so much. And it's like, not only is it, you know, um, for me, but for others as well. I tell everybody I know whenever I meet people, they say, hey, I have PCOS. I'm like, you need to you need to get a consultation. Like, you, you need to get on the Zoom. You need to find out what plan works for you because what works for me may not work for you. And that's what I love about Dr. Amun because he'll give you a plan that is tailored to your specific situation. For instance, right? I had um, a low vitamin D, so low. He said, I've never heard of anybody having vitamin D that low. My doctor said the same thing. Like I've never heard. It was, the number was so low. It, I didn't have a number. It just said less than four. I don't know what the number was. When I called to say, what was the number? They said, when it's less than four, we don't provide a number. I, it was terrible. I reached out to Coach Jesse. I showed her, I talked to her about my numbers and showed her. And that she encouraged me to go back and to tell the doctors that I need to get my parathyroid check. And I'm like, um, they, you know, they're usually with these doctors, they're like, if, if nothing's wrong, then we don't need to check it. Well, I'm like, okay, well, if you don't check it, then how will we know that something's not wrong? So I reached out to my doctor's office to get a check and I did get some pushback and said, well, the doctor said you you should be fine. Um, They don't usually check it unless something's wrong. And I said, no, I want to check that. And remember, Coach Jesse's like, no, you advocate for your health. You push and say, this is what I want. I'm not asking, but I'm telling you, I want it done. And I I literally said to the nurse, I said, tell my doctor, I'm not asking but I'm telling him that I want to get my PTH um, number checked. And I'm so glad I did because when I got the results, it was high. And then he's like, oh, it's high. Yes, oh, it's high, (laughs) right? So that was, again, a direct result of having low vitamin D, which is something that I did not know um, which can have a whole other set of issues that can go on in your body. So I thank God, you know, for, for Coach Jesse again, pushing me and telling me you need to get that check. So it wasn't until my vitamin D levels were normal that my PTH then came down. Dr. Amu said, you need to eat this. And there something that like he told me to eat is not necessarily specific to someone who is trying to eliminate five five boys but because of that condition that I had going on I had to now incorporate that into my diet between that taking my supplements taking um I did have to take other um vitamin d pills that were prescribed by my doctors my number literally jumped to almost normal Every time I have something going on, I know who to call. I know who to reach out to. And I do it every time. I had a cold. Like I had um, in our house, you know, especially with the New Year's, new germs, right? The start of a school year. It last was it, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. I was just, my body was just, just felt run down. I started feeling congestion, a little cough. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I had my cough and cold syrup on hand from the detox now. And I took it and literally within two days, all my symptoms subsided. I was back to my jittery, you know, happy self and just feeling well. And again, not only for me, but for my household as well. And um, so just having met them is, it's just God, like hands down, God sent, I'm happy that I told my husband, yes, I listened to him and (laughs) I'm not going to, I can't stress that enough. Right. And um, just being where I am today because of um, great doctors like Dr. Amun and Coach Jesse. And I want to add to um, one of the things that I really love about Coach Jesse and Dr. Amun is that 
as holistic doctors and a holistic coach, you, they encourage you to, um, you listen to your doctors as well. Right. And to, Hey, this, this is what you can do as a supplement outside of it. Not, you need to not do this. You need to not do this. And it's just like the, that working together with your physicians and with them, I'm like, that's holistic. And that was holistic for me. My life has definitely improved since having been on the detox now. Um, I don't get cramps at all anymore. And for me, I'm like, that is, whew, I don't have to take any medications. I know my cycle is coming because I track it, not because I'm in pain. Big difference, right? Also, um, it has definitely improved because my cycles are lighter. So they're still lasting. It lasts seven days-ish, but it's not heavy. Like the first two days may be heavier. And then after that, there's it's like almost nothing. Um, just very light afterwards which is a drastic change from what I was experiencing before. And overall, just, I feel great. I feel different. I feel so much better. And I literally had my annual appointment a month ago. And after my internal exam, I said to my doctor, I said, did you feel any fibroids? And she said, actually, no. And that was the first time, I promise you, every appointment that I went to, she would say, oh, I can feel a fibroid here. I could feel one here. She could literally feel them. And this time she said she felt nothing, nothing, nothing. So my life has definitely improved. When I hear people say that balance is not achievable, I vehemently disagree because it is, it's a choice. Um, Just like being pregnant, having fibroids, I chose to eat right. I chose to follow the plan. I chose to do what I needed to do so that I could live a healthier lifestyle as well as deliver as much as possible a healthy baby because of the choice that I made. So making that choice when it comes to your health is vital. We can choose to eat the chips or we can choose to, you know, eat the broccoli, right? I'm just saying examples. At the end of the day, we, 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 life is just about choices and I choose to be healthy. So that to me is being balanced, right? Living a balanced life, even, even as a mom. Like we're, my husband and I, my husband's a pastor. And so we're, we're um, big on our kids being balanced. You know, you have church, but you also have time with your friends. That's just an example, right? So life is a balancing act and knowing that too much of anything, as you always hear, is not good, but it's important to be balanced and, um, and it can be done. Community is very, very important. I believe the life happens in the community. Um, and so it's through your community where you get the help, where you get support, where you get what you need in order to live and thrive and thrive. No man is an island, right? If you want to be an island by yourself, you'll just die like die alone. And so community is it's 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 important. It's important to have that support. It's important to to not only have it, but to lean on it. Don't be embarrassed, right? Don't be shy. Don't be afraid to say, hey, I have this going on. I think a lot of times women are afraid to speak up because they're like, am I the only one that's dealing with this? Am I the only, you know, just, just even being like being a wife, right? Sometimes people go through in their marriages and I I find that that's something I know that's not detox related, but it is because we talk about healthy thoughts, right? Healthy habits. So just being married and sometimes people are afraid to talk about things that go on. But again, 
finding that support to help you through tumultuous times of your lives and devastating times of your lives, whatever is going on, whether it's your health, whether it's losing a loved one, whether, you know, you're just having some bumps in the road, knowing that, hey, I can reach out to this person and they'll pray for me. Oh, I can reach out to this person and they'll tell me what to eat. I can reach out to this person. They'll tell me this. So it's very, very important. The Detox Now offers a lot of um, options for support. The app is amazing because you can go on there, you know, you have that community with those who are fasting, those who have questions. We have Coach Jennifer in there who is constantly um, helping with that. Like just no question is too small, no question is too big and just really helping um, to navigate that our lifestyles and the different plans or detoxes or fasts that we're choosing. Also, um, so you have the app, you have the private coaching, the one-on-one coaching, you have the group community app. So you have different people who are talking, who talk about, you know, what they're going through or what's worked for them you know, just even down to like, hey, we got we found some good bread, right? You know, just like let's eat this bread. Um, or recipes. I made this. So look how it came out. It's just it's so it's encouraging. And it's like we can do this, right? We can together, we're stronger, we're better together, we're stronger together. So having that support. It definitely keeps you going. It keeps you on the right track to get things done. If someone were to recommend the Detox Now program, I'm telling you, take advantage, do it. So I started by taking advantage of the free consult. Listen, free, right? (laughs) How can you not join something that's free that will literally help you? And from that free consult, I was told what plan, um, what supplements I needed to take and what plan I needed to get on. And if it's something that needs to go beyond that, then you can meet with Dr. Amun, who will give you a more of the medical side, you know, to help you in a different way. But that free counsel was life changing because from there, that's when I was actually felt liberated and a fresh of breath air. Like I was, I could breathe again, like, okay, I'm going to try it. This is what I have to do. Like for me, whenever I have something written out and I know that this is the plan and it's before me, I'm going to take advantage. I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it until it's done. And so that's what I did. And I would recommend any and everybody who has um, an issue with fibroids, PCOS, anything reproductive, to definitely reach out, go to the website, um, www.thedetoxnow website and book your free counsel.